everyone welcome to jim kim now today's topic of discussion is rearrangement reactions now this is a new topic in the channel so in the first video we are going to deal with introduction so let us start so rearrangement basically means that a atom or a group of atoms will migrate within the same molecule that is it will travel from one carbon center to another carbon center if you consider here here you have a migrating group which is a and here you have a leaving group which is b so we can say that this is our migration origin and the another portion is our migrating terminus so once a migrate to our migrating terminus this b will leave and form such a product so the migration can be of three types so first type is that when the a traverses with all of its bonding pair which is present in this bond and goes with it that is the two electrons are being transferred then we can say it as nucleophilic migration or cationic rearrangement now if it happens to migrate with only one of the electrons present in this bond then we can say that this is radical migration or free radical rearrangement and finally if it migrates without any electron then we can say that it is electrophilic migration or anionic rearrangement so by the time we will do the series we will know different types of rearrangement and specifically for each rearrangement we will learn many name reactions so first we are going to do the general formation of the intermediates in this case if you consider here common rearrangement which is taking place is one to migration that is there is shift of the group of atoms from first position to the next position and higher order rearrangements are also possible where 1 3 1 5 and 1 7 migrations can be obtained it is basically seen in pericyclic reaction so most common type of rearrangement out of those three is nucleophilic rearrangement because it goes through aromatic transition state now what is aromatic non aromatic and anti aromatic is already being discussed in channel you can watch the video i will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present about this video so here we will first see that what happens or what type of intermediate is being formed when you are performing one to migration so when we are performing one to migration in that case you can see that our transition state will be a cyclic transition state cyclic ts and it will look like somewhat this is our bond there will be bond breakage from this side and bond formation from this side so this is our transition state now if we try to draw for cationic migration if it is cationic that is you have here the bond here is the bond breaking and here bond making is taking place and you have a charge of positive if you consider it as anionic in that case just the charge changes and the transition state looks like this so here we are considering only the transition state intermediate is not being discussed if you consider it as radical pathway that is there is radical rearrangement for that case your transition state will look like this and you have a dot here so these are the three types of transition state formation for different rearrangement now we will see a little bit about the type of rearrangement which is taking place when we are talking about cationic migration that is first portion cationic migration in that case what happens is that you have a migrating group r and you have a cationic center and this r will migrate to this cationic center example of such cation is one of this that is this one this is a cyclopropenyl cation right now if we go for the next mechanism that is radical migration in that case you can see that there will be migration with only one electron you have such and such here a radical center you have here r so one of the electron will be donated and this will come here so what you get is here you have a dot and you have a bond here which is this one 
so this properly we can see that this will look like this right now the last one which we are going to discuss is yes right it's anionic ligand so in that case what you are going to see is that here the whole bond pair has gone but in case of anionic migration that is anionic migration in that case you have such type of moiety here you have negative only R will migrate not the bonding pairs and here you will see that this becomes negative and here you have a R attached to it. So these were the three types of different types of actually rearrangements and in the next class we are going to first start with nucleophilic migration to carbon center depending on the different group classifications are possible and we will see it. So this much for today. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Mm -hmm.